Hi, this is Folks and Games, and I'm Courtney. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Pokemon cards. So if you're like me, a youngish adult who was into the cards when they first came out uh, around 1999-2000, you may have noticed there have been a ton of changes to the game recently, and I thought it would be helpful to go through what some of the cards are now, and then we're actually going to open up a couple of V-boxes of new cards. So, to get started, um, those veterans out there may remember that in the base sets, we had common, uncommon, and rare type cards. Uh, in the base set, there were also hollow rare cards, uh, like this Charizard. And so your rares could be basically hollow or not hollow. And in the, in the base set, it was predetermined what, what they could be, basically. You wouldn't get either or of them. Uh, then, in some of the more recent sets, they changed things up a bit, and now you can also get reverse hollow cards. And so, reverse hollow cards, instead of having the metallic sheen just in the picture of the Pokemon, now they have the sheen kind of reverse, basically, and so the picture is just regular, and they have all of the sheen that's around the outside. This was one of the ways, I believe, that they tried to combat being able to weigh packs and know what cards were in there ahead of time because the the hollow cards actually weigh a little bit more than non-hollow cards. So there are also reverse hollow rares now. And there are also items item cards like there used to be. And so we just have plain item cards and then you can also get what's called a full art hollow. And so this is uh, Brock's Grit, and it's a uh, full art hollow from the XY Evolution set. And so you can see that actual the hollow effect goes the full length of the card. There's no blackout for text. It just goes right on through it. And so these are one of the more rare type of cards, um, the full art ones. So that's just some of the type of hollow cards. And then they switched up the rares even more on top of that. So some additional types of cards. Um, this is a full art Mega Charizard EX. So it evolves from a Charizard EX. Uh, that's one of the new things going on there. You'll notice something special about this guy is you get to take extra prizes if you are able to knock this one out. Instead of just taking one prize, you get to take two prizes for this guy. Um, in XY, they introduce break cards, and so these are cards that you can just put on top of other Pokemon, and it just gives them an additional attack. It doesn't really change their base stats. Um, EX cards, so this is a rare card, but it's not full art like the Charizard is. Some of the latest types are V cards, and then there are V Max cards, and it just goes on and on like that. Um, in addition to these, it used to be that you would know how many cards were in a set based on the number that was um, in the card. So, for example, this is from the Charmanders from Hidden Fates, and there are 68 cards in that set. I have a secret rare here. The secret rare actually will be numbered higher than the total number of cards in the deck. And so this flying Pikachu is number 110 out of 108. And so there would be no way to know ahead of time, like, what secret rares you're going to run into until people have done a lot of collecting to know how many extras there were in the set. So those are some new types of cards. They kind of were overwhelming to me when I got back into the game and so I thought it would be helpful to kind of talk about a few of them. So I think next we're just going to get into doing a little bit of opening. Uh, the first one I was going to open is this Alec Sam V-Box. And so V-Boxes like this now generally have the actual V card and then the jumbo card which is just basically for display purposes. This one comes with four packs inside. Uh, it is the newer of the two sets that I'm going to open today. So we got the V card here. I'm just going to leave that one in there. Here's the Jumbo card. Alakazam V. When he is knocked out, your opponent takes two prizes. So pretty neat. Oh, and you'll also notice too with uh, these special cards, they're basic Pokemon. Normally you would do Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, you'd have to evolve it. Um, these guys are basic. 
And that's one of the reasons that you get extra prizes um, if you're able to knock one out. So, as part of our V box, looks like we got Sun and Moon, a couple of Vivid Voltages, and Sword and Shield. So let's go oldest to newest. And so Sun and Moon is going to be our first deck. Now I'm going to open this in a specific way, and then I'm going to explain why I did it that way. It's basically for dramatic effect. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull from the back. This is the code card. This will be a code that you can use to play the Pokemon trading card game online. For anyone watching, I'm going to use this code card by the time we post this, so don't bother trying to enter it. So I'm not going to flip that over to see the back side of it. Okay, and now I'm going to take four cards off the back and flip them in front. And the reason I'm doing that is so that way the rare card is now on the back of the deck and you can kind of build up as you go. So first up we have, I can't remember if they call it a metal or a steel energy, but basically that. We got a Hypno. Is this looking pretty good? Hypno is one of the original 151. Got a, what is that? Lima, I'm gonna say. She's a trainer card. Ooh, Dragonair. In the original set, uh, Dragon wasn't a type. They mostly were just, they showed up as colorless ones. So they actually have a Dragon type now, which is kind of neat. Fomantis. Cosmog. Roggenrola. Sandagast. Caterpie, another one of the original Cantos. Uh, and so here is our reverse hollow. You get a reverse hollow in every set now. And so it is just a common wingle. And our rare, oh, all right, what do we got? Gigalith, I want to say. So this is just a, a uh, hollow rare. So that's good because some of the rares aren't even hollow. So this is not a bad first pull. Set them to the side. Okay, so that was our Sun and Moon pack. Now let's do Sword and Shield. That was the next set. This is the base set uh, for the Sword and Shield generation. And basically the card generations, they all match the generations of Pokemon cards uh, in, the, in the games, in the video games, I should say. Okay, so I need to pull this way. I'll open these four packs and then we'll talk a little bit more about those code cards and what they mean. Okay, always an energy first. Got our electric type here, air balloon. Poke kid, I do enjoy, they've been adding all of the original like people you could battle in the original games, which is always fun. Purple picks. He's new, I haven't seen him before. Nicket. Ball toy. Chin Chow. A reverse hollow score bunny. He is one of the starter guys for Sword and Shield. I think it's Sword and Shield. Yeah. Oh boy. What do we got here? A VMAX card. Stone Journer? I actually haven't heard of this guy, but what do we got here? Full artwork. So that's pretty neat. And I don't know if all of the VMAXs are that way. They might be. I'm not sure. But always pretty cool to pull one of these. So, all right. So we've got a, a regular Hollow and we've got a VMAX already. That's doing pretty good. All right. So continuing on, we got two packs of Vivid Voltage. I'm a big fan of this, uh, this particular set. I think they're a lot of fun. have our, do it right. you'll notice between the different sets, some of them are just a lot easier to open up and some of them are not. Got four off the back. All right, water. 
Nuzleaf, Memory Capsule, Giraffe Rig, Wismer, Execute, Woobat, Beldum, he's a good one, Blitzel, our Reverse Hollow is a Vaporeon, and she is actually a rare, so that's, that's handy there, you get a rare Reverse Hollow, they're not quite, I think, as valuable as the full Hollow rares, but still good, and a Shiftry. One pack left for this box, but I'm already pretty pleased with what we've got. So we're going to take our code card. You already saw the fan pee. That's all right. We got a dark energy. Fishy, coating energy. So this is a special kind of energy that has special effects. I don't know. I don't. There weren't really any like that in the base set, so kind of a new thing. Shuckle, Fanpy, Shuppet. Our reverse hollow is another Woobat. Didn't we already have one in here? I think you got one, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Double up, but he's this one is the reverse hollow, and. This guy, Bennett, Banyet. There are so many Pokemon now. <laughs> All right, so there's our first four packs. Uh, now I want to take a second and actually talk about these code cards a little bit more. Well, now that we have opened our first four packs, I actually want to call Eric over and we're going to talk about these code cards and some of the differences between them. So, Eric, I'm going to hand you uh, one white and one green. Okay. Would you kind of bend those in your hands and tell me which one feels stackier? Oh, that's difficult. Yep. It's it's subtle. Can I see a And honestly, for me, I have to do it both in the same hand because it's not enough that you can maybe... I'm different enough left and right hand. Well, one of you guys is... You're left-handed. I'm like kind of ambidextrous. I, uh, sort you, of. you are, actually. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I'm impressed. I know my opinion. Ooh. All right, I'm coming to one. And this all goes back to preventing people from knowing what's in the decks beforehand, actually. I think... It's the green one. Green is what I was thinking of stock here. You, I believe, are correct. And so the reason that they do that, oh, and Matt also can help us measure if we need like to. It. But the reason that they do that, if you'll notice the packs that we opened, these two packs only had the reverse hollows. The rare cards were not hollow at all. So theoretically, you could have weighed these packs, and they would weigh less than these two packs, which had both the hollow rares and the reverse hollows. And so what the company does is they make the green cards slightly heavier to make up for this difference. So that way, when you combine everything all together, you shouldn't be able to tell the difference between the weights and the packs, which I think is quite clever. Um, I have heard that they kind of overcompensated. And so now, you know, if you hear people talk about heavy and light packs and heavy ones having all the good stuff in them, well, now I think they made the green cards, I've, I've heard, I have not personally weighed any of these, so I can't vouch, but I've heard that they made the green cards a little bit too heavy. And so now if you find a heavy pack, really you should go for the light ones because they actually have more of the hollow rares in them. But I just thought that was interesting. And just if you're opening packs and you're like, why do these code cards look different? That is the difference. And then uh, next we are going to open our other V-Box. But first, I guess we're just going to measure these and see what the real difference is. Here's our white card. We've got 0 0.011 inches in thickness. And then if we take our green card, this is the beefier one. We're up to a whopping 0 0.012 inches. <laughs> so. so there's your difference right there. Yeah. Okay, so now we just have uh, the second the box to open. Galarian Surfetched. 
I don't know how he is related to Farfetch'd, besides that he is Galarian. But you know, no, no, none of the original Pokemon can not have someone related to them now, it seems like. So, we got our actual uh, V-card, which always makes me laugh, and the promo card, and then our four packs here. Okay. So the one that I am most excited about for this one, the ones, the packs that are the hardest to come by now are these XY Evolutions ones. And these are extremely popular because they remade a lot of the cards from the original base set or first few sets. And basically there had been a uh, creep with the health points and the attack points and everything. And so they kind of beefed up a lot of the original cards so that way they can hold their own against the newer cards again. And so these have been really popular. And they're hard to get, and that's one of the reasons I picked kind of a silly surfetched box over something else. So we also have two Darkness Ablaze and a base set. Let's go with the base set first and save the evolutions for last. And so the, the last three generations, it was right now it's Sword and Shield, and then it was Sun and Moon, and XY was before that. So this is the oldest as well. I want to pull out the code card. And one of the reasons I do it this way now, so you know, if I see if it's green or white ahead of time, then it kind of spoils the surprise of if it's a rare card or not. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So that way I'm as surprised as you all are. That makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of technical elements to all the <laughs> Pokemon that I mean, get. you don't have to do it that way. It's just, I think it's more fun. So, all right, we got our energy. Oh, right on. Oh, nice. Big charm. Twacky, Grookey, Mudbray, Hoot Hoot, this guy's name, I'm not going to try. Fulpix, I saw one of those before. Ooh, uh, Reverse Hollow Rare Candy. So this is good. I believe this card lets you uh, skip one of the evolution steps so you could go right from Charmander to Charizard, for example. And, ooh, Lapras. It is not hollow, but it is a Lapras, so that is a win. Very cute. And so this was a non-hollow, so this is going to be a, what color? Do we remember? Non-hollow. Green. Green, yes. Good job. So we're going to save that evolutions. Moving on to Darkness Ablaze. Got two packs of those. Don't let me forget, when I open the evolutions, you only take three off the back. Because if I take four, we'll spoil what the rare is. It doesn't have an energy card. Okay, there's our pack. Got our energy. Trainer. Parasect, Wishy Washy, this is a silly. This is in one of the theme decks that Matt and I have and we immediately took that card out because we thought it was useless. Phoebus, also somewhat useless fish. Simeon, a reverse hollow dark Pokemon. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Vicavolt V. Another V-card. I wish that they were ones that I knew better. <laughs> but still, pretty exciting. And so that means this is a white. Alright. One more Darkness Blaze. I almost... I, I shouldn't say almost. I have a lot of the Evolutions cards. That is one that I actually feel like I can complete the set. And so I'm hoping it's one that I don't have yet. But the odds... May not be good for that. Thankfully, Sam was kind enough to help me complete some of our base set. But between my sister and I, we're trying to complete that. So, all right. Energy, trainer, trainer. This is a stadium card, actually. These are, these are another new thing that they added. It just affects stuff that's going on, basically, in the, in the whole arena. 
a couple of grass guys, Larvitar, another Phoebus, Reverse Hollow. He is an uncommon card. And ooh, this is the stage two, yeah. Gothitelle, I want to say. Yeah, Gothet, I think, is the first one. Very nice. The evolutions. All right, this is the one. This is some good luck here. Three. Three cards, that's Three right. Cards. has these have secret rares in them too though so we'll see all right switch as you will notice if you played the originals it looks just like the original switch card coughing revive caterpie i actually feel like he was one that they didn't even have to i think he was a 40 hp back in the base set too so he was one that apparently he was strong back then nidoran i think nidoran was like 30 or 40 HP. So you can see they beefed him up to 60 just to make him stand up to the current generations. Poliwag. Pikachu. One of the most famous. Ponyta. Reverse hollow Ponyta. <laughs> and. Oh! Plain hollow Starmie. That's all right. So there you have it. That is all eight of our packs that we were opening today. I hope this was help helpful. Uh, like I said, there were just so many different cards and different types when I got back into this again that I did not know what I was looking at. Uh, originally, I got back into this because I felt too bad to play with my old vintage cards that I wanted to get some new ones and, you know, battle with those. And then it just ended up becoming a whole new collecting thing. So that is the way it goes. If you're thinking about getting back into it, um, Cards are hard to find now, but it can be done. Just got to keep your eyes open and places restock occasionally. So hopefully this has been helpful. And thanks for hosting uh, Sam and Eric. And I had fun. So thank you.